Hey, uh... I think, uh, uh, Sai, like you mentioned, right, first thing, like, big shout out to the uh, Peak Audi team kind of organized this entire hackathon. We had everything that we needed right. pre hand, right? And it was very seamless for us to get started with everything, right? So, and the goals that were set, you know, on what basis we would be judged and all of that was pretty well organized that way, right? And then uh, looking at the scenarios, I think. Uh, the good thing about this challenge was about, you know, uh, uh, one important thing where Peak Claudia was actually helpful for us is that I did not have to worry or hassle about how, you know, I would run this on my device and things like that. It was, I just had to focus on what were the scenarios, right. how do I get them done, and how do I get them done in the best possible way, right? right. I think that's what, that's what was our main focus that day. Yeah. And, um, Right. I think, uh, you know, uh, and, and the other important part was like, you know, we didn't focus and the very important thing that, you know, this helped us that we didn't, uh, you know, uh, use a specific device to build our test that way, right? Or to uh, make sure that all the scenarios that were given by PCloudy were achieved. We just uh, kind of made sure we used a generic pool, right? Just specified uh, so that any test that we build, right, runs seamlessly on all possible devices. So it was it was uh, challenging in uh, uh, certain uh, scenarios or the use cases which uh, we were trying to do i think uh, uh, drawing the smiley right um, so i think you can add on more uh, punit on that one but still uh, so wherein it, it was not only like uh, uh, to deal with uh, uh, you know so going and tapping a button uh, and then go to the next screen and uh, fetch some values and try to assert on that values it was not just that but it was it had to do uh, uh, to do with uh, some uh, complex uh, core uh, uh, you know, programming expertise where in order to arrive at a smiley face, right? So I felt that as a, a little challenging uh, aspect of the uh, of the of the competition. So right. like, what yeah. do you feel? So I think uh, yes, I think uh, you know you bought about. I think the main thing that we felt was the, that was the most challenging was definitely the smiley face. Right. But on completion, it definitely brought a smile on our faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But keeping that apart, you know, I think the main, uh, uh, I think a good thing that we see over here is you know this thing about uh, obviously right when you start using uh, a physical device uh, opposed to using a virtual device, you feel these complex interactions where you gotta actually physically draw a couple of things are very challenging even when you think about it, right? But I think when we got into it and we started doing it, it, it was pretty seamless and very easy. We, we didn't, uh, I wouldn't say very easy, but I would say that uh, we were able to achieve it. And uh, the best thing was uh, we were able, able to achieve it in a way that uh, was not dependent on a single version or single form factor of any device, but it could generically run on all possible devices, right? So right. yeah, I think that was a pretty good and a pretty interesting challenge uh, and the most uh, difficult one uh, according Correct. to Uh, well uh, how it can be helpful uh, see ideally right uh, a QA person or anyone involved in this testing experience I should only focus on the scenarios and focus on how he can build these tests apart from focusing on how do I set up how do I manage or even for that matter you know uh, should I how should how should I maintain multiple different devices by myself right. so that what a test I do make sure it works seamlessly across all right. of this right? right but uh, with these uh, with this virtual experience with this virtual devices which right. are real devices actually right. you know uh, I do not have to worry about all of that right I can right. I can just focus on making sure that my code is so good that you know no matter where it runs or any device with any form factor it's going to work right right so, I think so that, that test coverage yeah yeah that test coverage is what you are uh, you are speaking about that right? right so like uh, quality uh, test coverage is something you know so ensuring we have that so we'll ensure even the uh, application under test uh, quality is maintained up to the mark right so and also uh, I think uh, the the features what has been uh, offered right especially uh, like the visu uh, visual uh, image comparison uh, a sort of a feature which we tried out on uh, our use cases was something like uh, it was out of the box. Work flawless, was, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it works flawless and also uh, uh, right. So it, 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 the, the the amount of uh, line of code what an automation tester has to write is also like very uh, minimized. So I think these features uh, is something will be an add-on to all the uh, uh, you know QA. 
uh, uh, teams out there to you know so focus on what they are uh, specifically uh, you know so job, uh, jo yeah. Yeah, job asked for right so rather than worrying about the, the whole infrastructure, infrastructure aspect, aspect of it yeah. right so that is uh, that is something that uh, the QA team can uh, take a leverage upon uh, uh, right so this is the, the I think this, this is, is overall yeah I think this is the way how we want to sum up the experience and yes. yeah it was really good thank you guys good job yeah thanks a lot yeah.